Hi there friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd give you a little bit of inspiration for the summer ahead of us and I hope you enjoy. with all the stickers, all the different ones, and like I showed you before, it comes with the two pumps in the perfect shade of gold. It comes with um, one of these little guys to, you know, to put on the bottle and to put your syrup in it, like a little funnel. And then two glass jars. I really think they package it really nicely. And it comes with two extension straws. So you just pop this in here. Okay, so these have been washed and dried as best as I could. I had to stick a towel in with a, a knife to get it really dry, so yeah, I mean you really don't have to wash them, I just did because you never know what chemicals are floating around in there. Okay, so let's see, I've got some syrups that I bought. I bought this one in the States a while back and it would have been really good, it's just that I don't like the sugar-free, there's a taste in it that I just don't like. Now I'm used to eating sugar-free everything being, you know, on diets for most of my life and and so on so but I and I can have Splenda that doesn't bother me but this sugar free stuff it really gags me so I'm gonna have to give that away and I bought some French vanilla regular no like with sugar I don't use much of it anyway so I'm not worried about it and then I've got the Starbucks vanilla caramel sorry and it's it's uh 
you know, it's not sugar free as, as well. So I'm going to add those to the bottles. Now, oh, that looks pretty. Good. So here's that one, and here's this one. Okay, now we're going to put the stuff in it. I have to tell you, when I think about summer, I think about ice cream sundaes, I think about peaches, s'mores, and of course, cold lemonade.
I would show you so far what my front porch looks like. Nothing's really weeded yet. I was lucky to get it mowed. So here we go. to put on the potting table it's not done well I think it's done but it hasn't been delivered yet so I'm going to 
fancy that up and put all my potting supplies in it and it would look nice and there's a place for everything then right you know how i like to be organized so many years we've lived here 37 years the trees are up to the sky and most people would like them but we have a small property and these trees are they've just grown out of out of control so we've cut them we've cut branches this one's growing again it's growing right over my little table and chairs here but like I said I don't have any furniture so I made the best of what I have so I got this little carpet at Hobby Lobby for $20 it was on sale. It's an, in, it's an outdoor one. This, you're gonna laugh, this is one of my side tables in my living room. Because it's iron or wrought iron, um, I thought it'd be perfect out here. It has a glass table. And I got this basket tray at Target. And I sprayed it so that it can stay outside and here are the two sets of cushions that I got. I think I got these in the States as well. Yeah, at home. I think these ones from, from HomeSense. And this is how the chairs turned out. After I spray painted them, they were white. I really like these little decorations that you stick in plants. Looks so pretty. This pot here oh, is from Walmart. It's a resin. It looks like, you know, it looks like concrete, but it's not. And these ones as well. This one looks like concrete and it's not. That one is con concrete. And this is my favorite little pot from Walmart. And in this, I have some Gerber daisies, another geranium. There's this fountain up this year. And look at all the weeds. We even put fabric on it. Every year, all I do is pluck the weeds. I give up. I wanted to pluck the weeds, put some more black mulch on it, make it look neat and tidy, put some lights. But these trees, the dead branches, they keep on flying down to the ground and they cover the black mulch. So it's a big waste of money. Unless I go with uh, some sort of a straw, maybe. Here I have a rose bush beautiful hydrangea and I love peonies I can't wait to cut these I'm not even sure what that little purple thing is and here I have a rose I don't think it's even alive anymore whatever oh and I forgot I have a fountain that I'm going to be putting somewhere in here probably behind this area I have my herbs that I got to plant. Here I have a little queen fern and some baby's breath. And I painted this chair to leave it out here. And I'm going to, when I have my bench, I'm going to put this chair beside it with some sort of fabric, outdoor fabric, and then place a plant of flowers on top. So here is my new potting table and I'm going to add these little signs to the front of it. I always love the look of this, these little details that I've seen on Instagram, Pinterest. And here is the table. It looks a lot more gray on camera than it really is. It's more of a taupe in real life. 
On the very top shelf, I'm going to put this flower market sign. I used to have it in the kitchen and I thought it would look so pretty outside. And then just in case the wind blows one day too strong and it falls over, I put these little corbels in front of it just to hold it a bit. And then a little birdhouse. I love this pot from Walmart. It is so pretty and vintage looking and I just sort of chopped it up a little bit and sprayed it. And here I'm taking my clay pots that I had and I painted them sort of a creamy ivory color. I got these cute little clay pots. They look so vintage from the tattered tulip and I thought they would look so cute in this potting table. I got this really kind of chippy looking stand, metal stand from the tattered tulip and I added a little birdie on top. In the corner I'm going to place a little bird's nest. And in this corner I'm going to be putting a little vintage scale that I found at Hobby Lobby and it was in the clearance section and it was like I think eight dollars and on top of that I'm going to add this little plant this little faux plant that I got at the Tatter Tulip and it's so it just looks so cute because it's got a little bulb attached to the bottom and it even shows its little roots and here I have a little sign from the Tatter Tulip a little rosemary sign and I thought it would look so cute Here I'm placing it behind the uh, little bird's nest and the little birdie and the clay pots just so it would be sheltered a bit from the weather. And here at the very bottom I had bought um, a burlap bag and I thought it would look so farmhouse if I had put the soil, the bag of soil, in that burlap bag and just placed it on the bottom shelf. That way it's also protected against the weather. And in this uh, basket I'm going to be putting my fertilizers, placing it at the bottom shelf. And here I got a really nice fresh produce box with a lid and I got this one from Home Sense I think in the States and I got it on clearance for like six dollars. I saw it here at Home Sense and it was like twenty dollars. So I do have to protect it with some spray still in case it rains and yeah here's another little basket. I got this little basket at the Dollarama and I put another one of those little faux plants. And here I got this really cute basket. It's a metal basket from uh, I think it was from Home scents here in Canada and I just put all my uh, equipment inside a glass jar with some um, herb marking signs and I put um, just a vintage um, jar and some tools and here's that little bed coil that spring from a bed that I had found at a vintage area in the tattered tulip and I thought it would just give so much vintage such a vintage look to the corner and here's that little spike tool that I had bought in the antique area of the tattered tulip these tools were a really great deal I got them all at the Hobby Lobby and it's exactly the look I wanted I didn't want any colorful tools I just wanted your basic wood and black tools Here's another little box that I put together and I put all my equipment inside. I have my little scissors for you know cutting little herbs and then my pruning shears, some twine. I got this at the Dollarama and these little um, herb signs I got at the Tattered Tulip and of course my gardening gloves and a brush in case I have to wash my hands and look at this. She looks like Medusa. That's the little head uh, vase that I had got at Home Goods or Home Sense here in Canada. And I put a little plant in it and it's so cute. It looks like it's her hair. 
And of course, we all need a citronella candle for this uh, summer evenings when the mosquitoes like to attack us. My little brass mister made another little vignette in the corner. So here is the finished project and um, I quite like it. So this is a little gardener's apron that I had got at the Tattered Tulip. It is so cute. And I'm going to hang this up on the side of the potting table. I had added a little hook at the top and three little hooks at the bottom for some extra tools. And here I got a little brush at Hobby Lobby, a little dustpan and brush. It was. Uh, I think it was only like four dollars and I thought it was such a great little tool for just to brush off the dirt on the top of the table if I ever use it or if it's just for decor. And here I found the cutest little um, bottle opener at Winners and I added it to the table. So now I'm going to add that chair that I had painted and I'm just going to add I think it's just a little placemat that I got at Hobby Lobby. It's a burlap placemat, just to give it some extra. And here I'm going to add uh, a wire basket that I had got at HomeSense. And I added my queen fern and this cute little plant. And here I'm using one of my old vintage crocs. I added some good soil to it and I'm putting it under the chair. And just so when I need to replant something, transplant something, I have some soil really close by. And I'm going to be putting a little cover over it just in case it rains. And excuse my dirty watering can, but it was outside. So here's the last little element that I added and I added this cutest little pink radio that I got from Amazon, a vintage radio and it really works and I'm just placing it on here just for decor of course and I bought some coke bottles and I'm trying to recreate the 50s.
So friends, this video is coming to an end. I'm hoping that I gave you a little bit of inspiration for the future summer ahead. And thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.